We have one of our holiday parties that day. Yeah. We got it yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. You guys need to buy a check Yeah, yeah.
Wayne Gary. Throw my flag. 
blow my whistle, and the offending player will have to step forward, stand in the apology box, and then apologize to you, tonight's loyal fans. That's right. And then you have the power. You can accept the apology, no harm, no foul, or reject the apology. In which case, points and dignity is taken from that team. That's a lot of points. <laughs> That's right, they add up quickly. So, uh, no puns unless absolutely necessary. So, um, everything you see tonight is going to be based on your suggestions. Let's practice getting them. Uh, you don't have to raise your hand. Just shout them out loudly, proudly, cleanly, minding that uh, out-of-bounds foul. I have to think about that for a second. So, from this side, all the way to the back, name your favorite color. Green. Green and purple, which are brown if you mix them together. <laughs> On this side, name your favorite zoo animal. Oh. Rocks? Fox. Fox. That's much more exciting than rocks. Zebra and fox. That'd be exciting. All right. Uh, the entire <laughs> arena. Shout out your middle name. Oh, my yeah. I heard nothing. Okay. All right. Shout out my middle name. I wish, but it's Beth. My mom liked little women. All right. Do you know any women my age are named Amy or Beth or Joe? Look it up. It's all of us. Hi, welcome in. Don't say anything dirty. All right, sit down. Good summer. All right. All right. So, uh, you guys are warmed up. Our players are warmed up. I'm wearing polyester in two layers, so I'm just cozy. So right now, anytime I say players, captains, anyone on the field, I want you to hoot and holler and scream and shout like it's Christmas, which it almost is. So right now, I need both captains on the field. <laughs> Um, I can't toss either of you. So instead, <laughs> we are going to play Rock, Paper, Scissors, Infinity. So you can throw Rock, Paper, Scissors or something else entirely. And we'll see who wins this. So on the count of three, let's see what you got. One, two, three, go! Oh, Emily, what are you? I'm pure fire! Oh, wow, Nancy, what are you doing? I'm sprinting! I'm sorry, but fire can take out a sprinter any time! So, uh, Uh, we're gonna go first. Excellent. Prepare your team. Okay. You're going second. Prepare your team for the game of Yay Boo. You're gonna see the same story told from two sides. First, you'll hear the Susie Sunshine, the positive Polly side. At which point, you'll all say Yay! That's right. And then you're gonna hear the negative Nelly side, the Debbie Downer side. After which you go. Until it makes sense no longer or until I'm exhausted. So, um, right now I need a player from both teams on the field! And uh, from this section over here, what is something you just recently bought? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that would fall in on itself. So that's not comedy sports related. A salad bowl. A, thank you over there. Your suggestion is salad bowl. Red team, begin. Tanya went to the nicest kitchen store in town and bought a beautiful salad bowl. Yay! Yay! The salad bowls have recently been marked up due to inflation. Boo! Tanya has a really excellent job. It's super great. And if I'll give her a major bonus. Yay! Tanya has to put gas in her car, and that's taking all of that bonus. Boo! Tanya thought, you know what? This car business is not working for me. I'm getting a bike and going green and working on my fitness. Yay! Yay! Tanya. Noted. Yes, from this side over here, something that starts with the letter R. Rascals. Rascals. And 
and rabbits. So rascally rabbits is the suggestion. <laughs> Blue side, begin. Jenny got up early to watch cartoons and Bugs Bunny was on. Yay! Jenny's brother, Timothy, was also up. And he's really nasty. Hog the remote. <laughs> Jenny had secretly bought another remote on Amazon. Yay! <laughs> the two remotes, when working in together simultaneously, created a weird, crazy laser reaction, and it burned a hole in Mom's couch. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny and her brother ran out of the house to avoid Mom's wrath. Yay! <laughs> because he's misbehaved. Boo. His misbehavior attracted lots of female rats. <laughs> and that kind of attention got him in trouble with the rat principal. Boo. The rat principal decided that he knew everything about life. She was married, sorry. Happily. Before I rotate you, is she really married? Or is that just a lie she told a guy? It's always a lie. <laughs> are going to be hard to find. Ooh. Mark enjoys the sunshine still because it gives him vitamin D. Yay! Mark is a ginger from Norway. <laughs> Mark is a ginger from Norway. Yay! Mark
Mark isn't married. <laughs> Wow, I know. Prepare your team. All right. 
for the game of Sing It. It's kind of like your choice, but with music. With the help of Mark Anderson on keys. <laughs> you are again going to see a scene. And I'll hear a line that tantalizes me, and I'll blow a whistle, and I'll say, Sing It. And the team will have to incorporate that line into their... Uh, their scene. Uh, are you in this as well? Yes. I am! I am! Yes. Ground right we'll, now. We'll help you. <laughs> yeah. Just come this yeah. way. Yeah. We'll help you. I just need to relax, really. Yeah. 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 Oh, man, your, your armchair is the best for relaxing. I have a report, Silas. What's that? Young man called 911 this afternoon looking for his deer. Yeah, you say so? He said it twice. Twice? He has sent us to apprehend. The takers, the deer nappers. We got ourselves a case to solve here. Duet, this is a case to solve. <laughs> <laughs> this is a case to solve. We are gonna solve it. <laughs> Warren. still need to take a poke around. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we can't stop him. Uh, poke around? Your house? My house is your house. Your house is my house. I think I'm going to go Are you guys, are you guys getting investigated? 
located over there? I don't know. They were looking for my dear, and, he, and he's here, and, and they're still, they got these weird magnifying glasses, and I, mm. I don't know what's going on now. Yeah, say something again. You sound a bit familiar. Um, I, I, my, my Hold it. I heard that voice before. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that voice before, and I wanted to accumulate in a large scene ending song. <laughs> Come up in your 
interview. <laughs> well, I hope you'll still commit to our plan. You know. Yes. No. The one. No. Ever on Craigslist I went on. Yes. No. I thought of this. Needed. It's good. Tact. Never with violent histories. Yes. <laughs> and we are here to take the cats. Do no! Do it, John. Mother, I, George the Cat, am scared. John, please! They're here to separate us! Don't nap me! Come! We no! have to take you violent no! 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 Jonathan! Wait a minute! Love is beautiful! It is! Jonathan's... My rage is... Incomprehensible! <laughs> I'm going to do something drastic! Like what, Jack? I'm taking the cat, Lucinda! No! Oh, oh, my It's yeah. for the best! Let me go! <laughs> no! I will be your cat. <laughs> advice based on your burning questions. Maybe you are trying to get a new car. Maybe you're not doing very well in school. You don't know the answers, but they do. Um, Captain Nancy, it is my understanding that you would like to get some suggestions for your characters. We would. We would. Fantastic. Starting with Aaron. Can uh, I get yeah, what is a subject that you might be an expert in, like as a professor or something? Mathematics. 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 Great. I want to get something that is in my safe deposit box. History of the Roman Empire. <laughs> More accurate than you know. What was the suggestion? History uh, of the uh, Roman Empire. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> um, uh, what uh, magazine am I reading? National Geographic. National All right, and Paul, you're good with your suggestion? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're, we're... You're both mathematics? Yeah. We're. Fantastic! In that case, welcome to our show. I am your host, Genevieve. I am going to get <laughs> questions from you to nice, loyal fans based on your burning questions, but they're not going to get answers from me. You're going to get answers from our grade A experts that I handpicked specifically for tonight's show. Starting off, would you please love to introduce yourself? <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> Joanne, um, I am a librarian, and um, I uh, love knowledge. Lovely to meet you, Joanne. How long have you been a librarian for? Uh, oh, uh, I don't want to reveal my age. Okay, let's keep it a secret. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne. Here we have... Charles. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Charles! Charles, what do you do for a living? Tenured professor of history at Stanford. That's fantastic, Charles. <laughs> Charles, how long have you been teaching at Stanford? All right. <laughs> well, no, no. It's <laughs> okay, Charles. And your name, please. Jerry Adders. Jerry Adders, lovely to meet you. And I see you're here with your uh, spouse today. No, he's my professor, boss, uh, cruel master. <sighs> <Wow>. Thomas <laughs> Subtraction. Thomas Subtraction. We're the addition-subtraction duo. 
I do the thinking for this outfit here. All right. So he says. So As you can see, there's a dynamic relationship. <sighs> All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> and one more time, your names. Joanne. Charles. Jerry. Thomas. Thank you, guys. Lovely to meet you. Um, can I get a question from this half of the audience? Zero divided by zero. What's zero divided by zero? <laughs> starting with the librarian Joanne. <laughs> Joanne, are you all right? Uh, 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 my head just exploded in there. I'm sorry. Wow. I think it's known as not a number. All right, it's known as not a number. I, I've actually published a paper on this. Oh. <laughs> Please tell us, Charles. The, the, the main thing you need to understand is that the Romans had no concept of zero. Really, <laughs> really? It's really, I'm sorry, but it's just nothing to worry about. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, Thomas, since you're the leader in this outfit. Think about it. Zero divided by zero. <laughs> Amateurs might give you it's no answer, but I can tell you're a real renegade. You like to play against the rules, oh, right? Wow. Yes, exactly, sir. that's right. <laughs> zero divided by zero is zero. Just make it so, and it is. Uh, that's uh, not quite right, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, now you have confidence. <laughs> well, no, <sir. laughs> no it, 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 you can't divide by zero, sir. <laughs> That negative thinking again. Oh. <laughs> that, that's zero thinking. Oh, All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cut it off before it gets any more hostile over here. <laughs> From this side of the audience, any burning questions you'd like to ask our experts? What is the best way to cook snail? What a great question. All right. Thomas, starting with you, what is the best way to cook snails? Again, trick question. Snails are best raw with just a little bit of salt. You gotta tell them who's boss first. <laughs> That's because you never cooked the damn snails yourself. Oh, do you have a different opinion? I don't. Uh, there's a thing called a frying pan. Remember that? Butter. Butter and garlic. That's all you need. How mm. much butter? Uh, there's never enough butter. Exactly! Which is why you're... Yeah. Infinite butter. Drive yourself into the ground. Infinite. Wow. <laughs> uh, uh, Joanne, what do you think? Well, I, I've never eaten snails. My, my late husband always was going to take me to France, really? but we never quite got there. Um, and then he, he died before we could get to France. And I think France is where they have snails. They actually call it escargot, I believe. But I have not had them, so I, I cannot say. Okay. Based on what you've read in your books, do you like? How would you think they taste? Charles, any advice from the Romans? Oh, plenty. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm first inclined to agree with my colleague from UC Davis here. <laughs> of frying pans, sometimes slimy. It's not really remarked upon much by Herodotus, so... <laughs> Herodotus did cover it. Exactly, exactly. All right, from anywhere at all, perhaps a problem you are currently trying to solve. What's what you do about my feet sweat? <laughs> oh, no. The age-old question of feet sweats, starting big with Charles, what do we do about feet sweats? You're not going to like it. <laughs> the, the, the main Roman tradition for dealing with this was done every year at the Saturnalia. They would go out and sing Christmas carols, as people do today. The main distinction is that they sung them sans garments. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> How times have changed! <laughs> Thomas? You, no, you take this. No, oh, you okay. know what you're doing. You take it. 
turns out your feet can sweat all they want because you're stuck back in the books there studying and doing all the work and nobody can smell your feet because you're all alone while other people are out taking all the credit. I knitted you socks! <laughs> <laughs> to keep your feet up! Oh, no respect! All right, loneliness is a potential cure for foot sweats. Or wool socks! And our intrepid librarian, what do you do about foot sweats in the library? Oh, I, sorry, I forgot the question. Uh, foot sweats. Uh, uh, my, my late husband did have sweaty feet. Did I, he? I, I think he's wandering. I was very good that way. Yeah, I actually, the, the key to a good marriage is to not do each other's laundry. Really? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Foot sweat is your responsibility. That's right. Have you considered publishing that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have one more question before we get Joanne published. Uh, from the back, just something that you really wanted to know. I look at the curry stains in my carpet. <laughs> the what stains? Curry. The curry stains. Curry stains are in the carpet. What do you do? stains out of your carpet. You should take the dang carpet out of your house and replace it with linoleum or hardwood or tile. Spill all the curry you want. Because you have an assistant to do the work Players are on the screen as well if you need them. Thank you. Um, 
and uh, gibberish, which is the art of blue, blue, blue. So um, for hacky sack, you have a hacky sack. We're going to get rid of that. What is too big to fit into this room? The elephant. Elephant. Um, with hacky sack, um, you're also usually played in a park. So let's get rid of the park. What's an indoor location you'd find in any city? Tennis court. Tennis court. Weird, but okay. <laughs> um, for roller derby, um, you've got a helmet. So what's a food? Banana. Banana. So your helmet is a banana. And uh, you've got skates. So um, what's uh, something that just fits in my hand? A frog! Your skates are a frog! So for ping pong, you've got a ping pong table. Name something squishy. A tongue. A tongue is squishy. And you have a ping pong ball. Uh, what's something that's not ballish? A square. A brick. A brick. Excellent. So for gymnastics, you wear like a weird singlet kind of thing. Let's get rid of that. What is something that is not clothing? Cheese. Cheese. You're wearing cheese. And can I get an international location? Brazil. You're a monster. What did you say? <laughs> Brazil. I will take Brazil because she's nice. <laughs> That's enough. So spelunking, you need a light. Um, something that's not at all bright and shiny. A hole. A hole. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a hole? A, a hole. hole. As in the ground. As in a hole. Fantastic. I suppose it could be in your hand, in your head. But it's a hole. Um, and I guess you wear like, you know, a safety harness. So, uh, what's another animal? Anaconda. Anaconda is your safety harness. I'll take snake, but if you get anaconda, I'll give an extra point. And now, ooh, you like that. <laughs> so for vacuuming, you've got the uh, vacuum. So let's replace that with another large item. Elephant trunk. Now we already have elephant. Okay. I love a ball gown. Person. Well, a ball gown. I like that. So the vacuum is a ball gown. And you know, vacuuming is best done for someone else. So can I get someone from history, like a Benjamin Franklin or something like that? Dracula, you are vacuuming for Dracula. Because he likes, he likes his lair tidy. You know how Dracula is. All right, so um, if you've got the list for me. Absolutely, I do. And a pen, thank yes. you. So um, this is, I can't read this at all. Uh, <laughs> I can assist. Oh my gosh. So, hacky sack. The hacky sack is an elephant, and you're playing in a tennis court. Tristan. <laughs> Not the designated writer. Number two are, is a roller derby. The helmet is um, banana. a banana. That's a bee? <laughs> sure is. The helmet is a banana. That's and right. The skates are a frog. There's also ping pong. The table is a tongue. And the ball is a brick. They've got gymnastics. The singlet is cheese. And they're competing in Brazil. And uh, splunking, the light on your helmet is a hole. And your safety harness is an anaconda. And then vacuuming, the vacuum's a ball gown, and they're doing it for Dracula. Give yourself a round of applause. We're going to move those uh, screens so the uh, guessers can't see it. What's going to happen is the teams are going to have one minute to give their guesser the clues in mime and gibberish. They will get one bite at getting that right. If they get it right, they get a point. If they get it wrong, the other team can steal. This is very competitive. All right, so we need our players back. So on the count of three, say, come on back. One, two, three.
I am going to randomly say the blue team is going to go first. And uh, they can choose any one of these that they want to go first with. So we'll figure it out when they figure it out. All right. Are you ready? Yes! Begin! Oh, it's a light potato ball. Oh, it's a pop. Oh, that was good. You got it. Boink, 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 boink. Ah, it's not like that. Oh, <laughs> 
HR report. You've been doing great at the quarry this year. Yes, boss. Hey, Carl. Pick that up. See what you got. Okay. Remember what we practiced. Yes. <laughs> Remember what we practiced. I'll try. Forward. I'll try. Drop it down low. <laughs> to buy 10 rocks. Okay. I want the rocks now! Reverse. I want the rocks now! Okay. Forward. I, I want the rocks now! Reverse. I want the rocks now! Forward in slow-mo. Regular speed. Listen, lady. we got a drop it down low situation over here. Have some patience. Why didn't you say so? 
show! Whoa, wait a minute! Reverse! Whoa, wait a minute! Why didn't you say so? Wait a second, lady, we gotta drop it down low situation over here. I need the rocks now! I need the rocks now! Wait a second, lady, we got a situation over here, we're dropping it down low! Why didn't you say so? Whoa, wait a minute! I love the way you just dropped it down low. You do? <laughs> I really do. You looking for a job? Or, uh, a friend? find our wedding ring. But your mother gave me that ring. Miss Scotty scoring our school Your finger, it is naked. <laughs> Don't worry, I have love in my hand still. Miss Gorba scored a skater party skater. I'm sure, with our powers combined, we will find it together. <gasps> Have we always had this cabinet? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen it before. This looks very expensive. Perhaps we should open it and see what's inside. <laughs> I will open it. Morgan! Sporgan Morg! Stavros! Stavros! Speaking French. Wait! Don't open that cabinet! <laughs> what? This cabinet? <laughs> Storben Morgan! Storben Labrador! This is the cabinet of doom and death. Don't open it. I think he's very smart. Yes, Norman. Yes, Norman. Stabber, Steeder, or Batista. I know a thing or two about cabinets. Cabinet advice be damned. I'm opening the thing. <laughs> oh no, their marriage will last forever. <laughs> don't want to go in there. It's very expensive in there. <laughs> That's the boy, It's so much bigger. 
bigger on the inside. Vista <laughs> Vista da. This is my plan all along. The ring is hidden in here, my love. All these stars, God, no. I found it already with the power of love. Snort it, snort it, hard. I quit. <laughs> Well, you did order the soup with 
leaks on flakes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hair extension in my suit. There's no need to wig out on me. <laughs> Wait, there's a hair extension in my suit. I'm so sorry about that. Let me take your paint. Your paint. Let me take it. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Wait, there's a hair extension in my suit. Oh, you cut it out. <laughs> Press five for that extension. If you wanted something else, press six. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, later there's a hair extension device. Oh dear, that is not what you ordered. <laughs> <laughs> Just Kevin. Yeah! Yeah! 
star tonight. Clap it up and make her live like Tinkerbell. It's Amy Pepper Beach! Thus the show ends.